Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is cubes and cube roots. So our focus today will be getting the cube roots of values using factor method. So and then after that we'll practice on a few questions. So when you look at a number like um, uh, 2 times 2 times 2 to form uh, our 3, that is a cube of 2, which is equals to 8. That is what we said the cube of 2 is. When you multiply 2 by itself 3 times, you form 8. So if you were to look for the opposite of cube, which is a cube root, it means that when, when you look at the cube root of 8, it means we need to get that number that if you multiply by itself three times is going to give you eight, which is the same as two. So you see how important it is for the factor method for you to be able to identify those numbers which when you multiply by the, when you multiply by themselves three times, you get that specific question. So in the case of 27, for example, if you have been given to look for the cube root of 27, it means you need to look for a number when you multiply by itself three times, you get 27, which gives us three times three times three. So the cube root of 27 is going to be three. So that tells us that in general, the cube root of a number is a number that is multiplied by itself three times to get that given number. So when we get this number, we do so by a method called the factor method. So we use uh, these values that multiply themselves by three times. These are the factors. So for example, if you look at a few examples, you have been told to look uh, for the cube root of 216. So when you look at 216, we need to look for all the factors of 216. So when you look at the factor tree, for example, using, um, using the factor tree method, we will start with the lowest factor, which is 2. Because you can see this number is even, even by the last value, which is 6. So if you divide 216 by 2, you get 108. If you divide 2, 108 by 2, you're going to get 54. If you divide 2 by 54, you're going to get uh, uh, 27. Um, then if you divide... Uh, Three, now the number as it is no longer even, so we go to the next factor, which is 3. You get, um, divide by 27, you get 9. If you divide 9 by 3, you get 3. So when you look at the factors you have been able to come up with, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So we are going to repeat the question now, putting this factor over the cube root. So the cube root becomes the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So this becomes, we can separate to make our work easier. So this becomes the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3. So this is the same as the cube root, the cube root of 2 cube times the cube root of 3 cube. So we said that number that multiplies by itself 3 times, that is a cube, cube root. So in this case, it will be 2, and then in this case, it will be 3, which will give us the answer, which is 6. Let's look at another example. So you have these unknown values. So this is the same as the cube root of a power 6, a, uh, B power 3. So let's make a bit of some separation to make our work easier. This is the same as cube, uh, cube of A power, cube of A times the cube of A times the cube of B. So we separate these values up or put them all in cubes so that it can be easier for us to get the specific factors. So the cube root of A cube times the cube root of a cube times the cube root of b cube. So after that now, 
if we want to get the cube root of a cube it becomes a the cube root of a cube also becomes a and the cube root of b cube becomes b so this becomes a times a which gives us a squared times b which is the same as a squared b which is our answer let's look at another example so you have this value in this case now it's a fraction so what, what we do we are going to separate the fractions so that we get the factors easily so this is the same as first of all when we repeat the question we can be able to separate 27 divided by 64 by now putting the cube root in each value so cube root of 27 over the cube root of 64 that way we can look for the factors of 27 which is 3 uh, times 9 and then 3 3 which gives us the top one becomes the cube root of 3 times 3 times 3 which is the same as the cube root of 3 cube which gives us 3 so for the lower one which is 64 we can use 2 as the lowest factor when you lose to use 2 it becomes 32 when you divide by 2 more it becomes 16 when you divide by 2 it becomes 8 divide by 2 you get 4 divide by 2 you get 2 and 2 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have 6 2 power 6 because there are 6 of them this is the same as if you you can make it a bit easier which is the same as 4 times 4 times 4 so it becomes 4 power 3 so this is the same as the cube root of 4 power 3 or the cube of 4 which is equals to 4 so our final value is 3 over 4 because the top value we got 3 the bottom we got 4 so our answer becomes 3 over 4 let's do a few more examples so we have this value 5, uh, 12, and you can see it's a decimal number. So what we do is we make the decimal number a bit easier. So we do so by getting the standard form. So the cube root of 0 0.512 is the same as 512 divided by 1000. So if you divide 1000, 512 divided by 1000 you get the same value what you have done is just remove the decimal places which makes our work easier so if we separate the numerator and the denominator we get the cube root of 512 over the cube root of 1000 so we get all the factors of 512 which is you start with the lowest factor which is 2 to get 2 56 and then if you divide by 2 you get 128 if you divide by 2 you get uh, 64 if you divide by 2 you get 32 if you divide by 2 you get 16 if you divide by 2 you get 8 if you divide by 2 further you get 4 if you divide by 2 you get 2 so the factor is 2 times 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 2 so this is the same as let's count the number of twos we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is the same as 2 power 9 so when we get into a certain such a, a situation we want to put it in an easier cube so we will take in three so you take this two times two times two two times two times two then two times two times two so this is the same as eight times eight times eight which will give us cube of eight so if you divide so the cube root of 5 12 is the same as the cube root of eight power three and then uh when the cube root of one thousand is the same as ten times 10 times 10 which gives us the cube of 10 so it is 10 power 3 so the cube root of 8 power 3 becomes 8 
while the cube root of 10 power 3 becomes 10. You can leave your answer as 0 0.8 or you can further make it into a simpler form, leave it in fraction. So if you divide by 2, you get 4. If you divide by 2, you get 5. You can't go further than that. So this becomes 4 over 5, which is the same as 0 0.8. Let's do another question. So we have this question. So you can see this is a mixed fraction. So the first thing that we do with a mixed fraction is we make it into a simple fraction with an, only a denominator and a numerator so that our work can be able to be easier as we do the calculation. So we are going to say 125 times 2 to get 250. 250 plus 93 will get 343. So this becomes the cube root of 343 over 125. So we are going to look for, we are going to separate the numerator and the denominator. So this becomes the cube root of 343 divided by the cube root of 125. So let's get the factors of 343. We we'll start with 7, which is 49. So sometimes you have to do a bit of more math. We start with the lowest, which is 2, and then you go to 3. If it's not possible, you go to 4. If it's not possible, you go to 5. If it's not possible, you go to 6, and so on and so forth. So the 7 is the least factor that you can divide by 3, to divide 343 with. So, and then 49 will be uh, 7. You divide by 7 further, you get 7. So our factors will be 7 times 7 times 7, which is the same as 7 power 3. So the cube root of 343 is 7. And then the denominator, which is 125, if you look for the cube, they start with 5. It's the least that you can use. So 5 divided by 125, you get 25. And then 5 again divided by 25, you get 5. So the factor is 5 times 5 times 5, which is the same as cube of 5. So the cube root of 125 is the same as the cube root of 5 power 3, which is the same as 5. So our numerator is 7, our denominator is 5, giving us the final answer. And the final question is this question. So we are going to separate this number into the cubes values inside the cube root so this is the same as a cube root we have done 27 before so we said 27 divided by 3 you get 9 which divided by 3 you get uh, 3 so this is a 3 cube times x cube then instead of putting y power 9 we are going to separate this into 3 cubes so y power 3 times y power 3 times y power 3. So you see this y power 9, it means we have 9 y's being multiplied together. So we can group them into cubes. That's why I've separated into cubes. So if we do this separation individually, the cube of 3 power 3 times the cube root of x power 3 times the cube root of y power 3 times the cube root of y power 3 times the cube root of y power 3. This will give us 3 times x times y times y times y. So this is the same as 3x times y power 3, which gives us 3x y power 3 as our answer. So that brings us to the end of the subtopic. Uh, you can get more revision questions in the app and more notes on this topic. So go ahead and download the app and look further into it. So see you in the next lesson.